British banker Rurik Judding had become a chronic user of cocaine and alcohol in the weeks, leading up to his alleged murder of two young Indonesian women. Hong Kong's High Court has heard, on Wednesday, day three of Judding's trial for the 2014 murders of 23-year-old Sambartanisi and 26-year-old Senang Majesi. Jurors were told how the Cambridge Educated defendant became dependent on a daily cocktail of cocaine, alcohol and energy drinks. Toxicologist Lu Theo Lung, who was called as an expert witness by the prosecution, told the court that at the time of the deaths in the autumn of 2000, 2014, the 31 year old had been deeply addicted to cocaine, consuming the equivalent of three uncut grams of the drug each day. Jutting had also been consuming up to four bottles of wine a day as well as large quantities of the energy drink Red Bull. Law said, however, Law told the court that despite his heavy intake of drugs and alcohol hyphen amounts, he said would put most people in a coma hyphen. Jutting was not intoxicated and remained in largely control of his actions at the time of the killings. The claims were made one day after. Jurors were shown graphic video footage filmed by Jutting on his smartphone in which he admitted to raping, torturing and killing Sambartan Ningsi after luring her to his luxury apartment on Hong Kong Island on 25th of October 2014.